Hello, dear aquarists. Today we will talk about a very common fish, one of the most sold fish in our aquarium, and it's about a platy. A platy with a specific disease uh, problem that was uh, presented to me during my work as a fish doctor, so I will share my uh, PowerPoint with you, and I hope you can understand what was happening here. The platy, scientific name is Xiphophorus maculatus, had a bacterial and a parasitic infection caused by tetrahymena. The fish here up front was very, uh, it was in a very bad shape. He had some bleeding wound on the side, is getting very skinny, wasting away. Look how, how skinny he looks and how bad he looks, but we could not see any particularly sign of a specific disease. We just saw that that wound here on the side he had. Oh, we were wondering, well, let's take him out because the other fish at the tank seems to do pretty well. And let's take a skin scraping. And of course, this was obvious to see that we had some small animals moving around. You see those tiny, tiny, tiny small bugs just moving around and meanwhile eating on the scales and the tissue of the fish. Here we see it in higher magnification. And those parasites really damage the, the skin tissue, makes holes and they're just are like, like little vultures. They're just carnivores eating away the fish skin, making wounds and lesions. And also in the gills, when it's in, they can cause a lot of damage. Here you see a, a gill arch, which is uh, damaged. You see some gill filament, which is uh, devoured and the lamella are, are gone. But parasites moving around and making lesions. Here you see it also. You see the lesions here, the lamella, which are gone and secondary bacterial infections will appear on those wounds of course the the weakening of the immune system plays a part the damaged tissue and these parasites are just dividing in two and just multiplying and making a big uh, case of fish disease because that fish is really in, in poor shape and what amazed us in that one that we also found tetrahymena in the liver and that might be because of that wound in the fish. It could, they could have penetrated inside the fish and they will eat everything. They will take away all the tissues they can get. And that's where they are sitting here inside the liver tissue and, and just multiplying it too and devouring the, the, the tissue. Here we see them in a much larger, uh, higher magnification. Well, that is causing serious damage. That fish will not last very long. We also find out that the spleen had a large uh, Milano macrophage centers, which is a reaction on a bacterial infection. And you can see that the spleen is not functioning neither. That's is the bad shape. So about this platy, well, the weak, a very exotic fish, please take them out and put them asleep. You can use Narcomor Plus, which is a gentle tranquilizer from Aquarium Munster. Uh, the history of that fish must have been very bad, very stressful, maybe during transport, maybe already at the breeder's place because they came from Asia, had a trip of, for 36 hours, and maybe they have not been treated properly or treated too late. So, But many fish were still doing well in the aquarium. So please treat, uh, and we recommend formalin, malachite green, and Italy blue mix, which is our FMC, where we describe the application and the formula in, in my books of, on fish diseases. At the same time, try to supply a functional fish food because you can help the fish to be strong and repair themselves. And it, you can use our Dr. Basley Biofish Food Fuco or Grapefruit Seed to extract Moringa for at least 30 days. And you can help the fish surviving better, particularly with that secondary bacterial infection that might pop up. So I hope you can read more in my books, which are available in different languages. You can find it at my website, or you can become uh, a VIP at my Patreon, so you can get training on fish diseases. So I hope this uh, helps you to understand 
what can cause fish diseases and what can you can do about it. Thank you for watching.